Oh God, Null was talking shit about us. Yeah. He does does that. Do you want to hear it? I already heard it. It's not interesting. I didn't hear it. Somebody clipped it. It's not uh, interesting. No, you can play it. It's I okay. forget what he was talking about. Uh he said he called us all greasy. And Null's got a lot of problems. He's got he's upset with everybody. Well, I he mean, was mad. He was mad because upset. of the Destiny. Do you know? Did you hear what I said during with Destiny? Right? You, you were there. Remember I when, remember. Uh, Destiny was on, and we were talking about the Balenciaga thing. And I said, "It's a great time to be a pedophile because if it is, if like you're trying to get away with oh, it." Oh, oh, I didn't mean. And I, he, he thinks you're being well. Yeah, serious. I'm like, it's like yeah. the same way. If I said it's a great time to be a black man in America, you would understand I'm not a black man. I'm just saying. I don't know. Now is a good time if you're a black man trying to break into some industry or whatever else. Yeah. But again, he went, oh, see, Vito said he's a pedophile again. And okay. I'm like, no. I was <laughs> okay, hold on. This one's called Drugs, they sent me. Okay. Danny Ock for two says, you forgot to mention about Ralph's retarded bowling ball tournament where he got swiped, proving he was the reflex of a slug and he can't defend himself for shit, hence the Portugal Thumbs. I did forget that. He had a really embarrassing bowling tournament with Dick Masterson where Dick Masterson fled the scene because it got swatted and he had drugs on him. Oh, what? Yeah, they think they think that you did not actually hurt your arm, which you've obviously hurt your arm. You have a giant fucking scar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're <laughs> and saying it's deformed. Yeah. My fucking muscles deformed. But they're saying you only left because you had drugs and you had to escape from the cops. So I would walk through the cops right. out to yeah, their you police cars? in the fucking bathroom or something. Or yeah, I'd have gone into the women's room. Yeah. Um, no, no Threw him in the trash can, not flushed him. I'll get those. I'll get that shit back. Hide him in the tank. Okay. Oh no! Come on. He had drugs on him. Don't say that. I mean, I don't care. But all right, this one's called Fees for damages. This one's called so, Vito. The he also hates Destiny now because Destiny. But Destiny came. went on Kiwi Farms and was like participating. Yeah, but he they, was they he, like that. He said he wanted to donate money to the Kiwi Farms because of the Keffel situation. But Noel thinks. Anybody who talks to me or you is a secret pedophile. That's true, though. No, no. Don't, <laughs> don't feed him, because he'll just play that on his stupid fucking show. Okay, here we go. How Dick owns the biggest problem in the universe. Yeah. Exclusively. And he decided to reboot it with Vito the Pedo. Hi. And he had Destiny on. God damn it. They call you Vito the Pedo? Of course they call me Vito the Pedo. What else would they call me? They're not clever. They're not interesting. Pretty clever. Pedo. How is that Vito. clever? That's so <laughs> obvious. Pedo. Well, because it, <laughs> it's not like pedo. It's like pedo. Yeah. I mean. Not quite there. All right. He's, he's, a, he's a comic Vito, mastermind. Vito the Pedo. I'm surprised he doesn't have a little name for you. <laughs> uh, I think they do have one, though. Oh, okay. Recently, and they they were like... Yeah, Maddox says something like, Vito will never, like, shake the, the whole pedophile thing because he keeps saying dumb shit. And Vito said something like, um, oh, yeah, it's yeah. a great, Vito said it was a great time to be a pedophile because oh. people are so convinced if you wear Balenciaga, you're a pedophile. So you can be an actual pedophile and people won't even notice. Kind uh, of. Because everyone is like... Yeah, so mis misdirected, and the pedo scare is such a thing that if you are an actual pedophile, you can get away with it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's just like a like a horrifically stupid fucking take. And it's not just stupid. There, like, oh, genuinely, it's like what's biggest, happening? Just like three gr greasy, greasy freaks oh my talking God. about freaks. pedophilia. Oh, and what's supposed to be a comedy podcast? I'm not greasy. Like, okay, whatever. The stuff that's going suck. on with Balenciaga <laughs> is legitimately say, funny. Just, wow, you're interrupting him. His okay. Feed. You know, he's well, he thinks you can't, you, think you can't talk about this during a comedy podcast. It's in the news. Everyone's talking about Look it. Look at you, you greasy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, you think it would be easier to get away with being a pedophile because everyone's so keyed up well, to, go now, at, like, hold on, it, to go after preposterous <laughs> ad campaigns and you could just slide in there and go, oh, I hate pedophiles too. <laughs> Bring over your kids. I'll take care of them. A lot of efforts are being directed at the wrong. A lot of energies are being directed at the wrong problems. Gosh, how is it that we haven't fixed things in 10,000 years? How is it that if how you that care possible? about children, you go, I really got to like make sure people don't buy this luxury fashion brand. It's like you can't think of any other possible <laughs> they, way to help a child. People are like, uh, people on Twitter are like, does Balenciaga have a stock ticker that I can go screenshot yeah. when it goes down so I can post it? <laughs> oh, God, I got I to gotta boycott Balenciaga. Let's see, who do I know who has, oh, gosh, well, I don't have any Balenciaga. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have Yeti and Under Armour. Let's see. Honey, do you have any Balenciaga? I wish. They don't make it in my size. Okay. At least they can harass huh. the Kardashians about it. That's all they've been doing. Uh, Which has saved probably thousands of children harassing You mean they've Kim harassed Kardashian. the Kardashian PR department. Right. Who runs their Whoever Twitter runs their Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> okay, here you go. There's more. Shit, this is really bad. Uh, so that's that's like the peak of the Dick Masterson stuff over this year. Oh, uh, I predict good. that in 2023, Max Carson and Vito Gastaldi will be curb stomped like an America History X um, by by Ethan Klein. All Ethan right. Klein will redeem himself by go. curb stomping Vito and uh, 2023. And that's what's happening. The year that Ethan and, Klein curb uh, stomps Ethan me. Ethan Klein will get away with it too because he's Jewish. And Mr. Carr. <laughs> The height of comedy, folks, from uh, Null from Kiwi Farms. I don't think Ethan Klein. I don't Klein, get it. I wouldn't let Ethan Klein curb stop. Thank you. you, Dick. I appreciate that. I would say, look, it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's right? just so weird. I would throw a bunch of pennies on the ground. It's so weird when people are like, aren't you upset that Null's saying things about you? And I'm like, he sounds like a crazy person. <laughs> he sounds like he's never talked to another be genuine joking. human being. I know he's joking, but it's not even like a good joke. He's just like fucking weird. Curve stopped by Ethan. Isn't Klein. he living in like Serbia or something? I don't know. Look, I don't want to. Oh, we don't want to be dox. doxing anybody. Don't want to dox poor Null. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.